Hello guys, I have Samsung uh, latest Galaxy Tab S8 and it has Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. The latest flagship chipset from Qualcomm, right? I'm gonna do some benchmark test between Galaxy Tab S8 and S22 which have Exynos 2200. I want to find out which one is powerful chipset in Android market. For now, if we talk about CPUs then they both have a similar course and architecture and only differences in clock frequency, right? But that's just a slight difference. They have the both uh, at course. In terms of GPU, I'm excited to check. This video is particularly for GPU testing. Galaxy Tab S8 has Qualcomm Adreno 730 and S22 has an XClip uh, graphic based on AMD RDNA 2. Let's find out about the competition. Both devices have similar number of apps and settings. Uh, when I set up a Galaxy Tab, I copied the same settings and apps from my S22. I generally just copied from S22. I will take out SIM from S22. Let's start the show. Uh, make sure you are subscribed to my channel for interesting videos are in the pipeline. So do make sure you are subscribed. The test will be non-stop and you will discuss more in the in the it right. Uh, first test will be Geekbench score. In the result, in both single and multi-core, Snapdragon is a winner with a slight number. As I told you before, they both have the same CPU cores and it only matters on CPU clock frequency. In this part, Snapdragon is the winner. In the same app, let's do a commute uh, benchmark test. This test measures GPU performance. Uh, let's start with OpenGL, but remember this is just a simple graphic task, right? So Exynos seems working so fast. Exynos scored a higher number than the Snapdragon counterpart in the result. Exynos scored 42% higher than Snapdragon. Let's do the test with the Vulkan API. In this test also, Exynos is way ahead of Snapdragon. In this test result, uh, Exynos is also about 43% way ahead than Snapdragon. So it's interesting. Uh, in the next round, let's go for the very famous NT2 benchmark. In this test, Snapdragon is way higher than Exynos. In overall score, Snapdragon is 15% ahead of Exynos, this is really a kind of generation difference. In terms of GPU, Qualcomm Adreno is about 37% more powerful than Samsung XClip graphic in this test. So this is really a very huge number. Both, both S22 and Galaxy Tab S8 consume a similar battery percentage where S22 thermal temperature is higher than Tab S8. I will not count the thermal situation in this case because uh, Tab S8 has a large battery and it is generally easy to escape thermal heat and I don't want to count the thermal situation because S8 has an advantage of large body, right? Let's go for the second round. In the second round also, Snapdragon seems faster in completing tasks. In overall score, Snapdragon is 19% ahead of Exynos. In terms of GPU, Qualcomm Adreno scored about 42% higher than Samsung X Clip. In this round, Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 is clearly well-deserved winner, right? Let's go for the 3D Mark uh, benchmark test and this, this test is also for a GPU, right? Let's start with the simple wildlife test. In this test also, Snapdragon achieved 50% higher score than Exynos. <laughs> oh my god. Snapdragon has much better FPS than Exynos and thermal temperature is also higher in Exynos. Now let's go for the wildlife stress test. In this test also, Snapdragon has a way higher score. The Snapdragon has a 42% higher score than Exynos in both best and lowest loop score. 
The Exynos run this stays about around 17 to 45 FPS, whereas Snapdragon runs uh, this stays in much higher FPS, that is uh, 32 to 62 FPS. The Exynos reached up to 41 degrees Celsius, whereas Snapdragon reached up to 32 degrees Celsius. And of course, uh, Galaxy Tab S8 has the advantage of having large device, whereas S22 is very compact phone. Till now, I am very disappointed with Exynos result. Let's go for the last round. In this round, still Snapdragon is about 30% ahead of Exynos. S22 lost about 9% of the battery, whereas Galaxy Tab S8 lost 8% of the battery. S22 reached 10 degrees Celsius higher than Galaxy Tab S8. The frame rate is almost similar. I have done the non-stop test and I think at this point, these devices should be heavily exhausted. It's already more than one hour of testing, right? In the conclusion, S22 is a fairly new device as, as well as a tab S8, right? The Snapdragon has more advantage having the same architecture and GPU for a long time. That's why some apps are very very optimized for this uh, processor. I almost admit that the GPU power of Snapdragon is unmatchable. S22 needs some optimization and I think it has the potential but having 42% way back against Snapdragon in every test is unacceptable. And also software updates cannot close those gaps, right? I just think the Exynos 2200 is not ready yet. I think Samsung should wait for it to release it officially. For me, it is just a half pack bread or food, right? I do not like to criticize heavily on Exynos, but the way Samsung was silent and released this chipset for a very limited reason, I am very angry for Samsung. Now we understand why Samsung is not confident with this processor. That's the reason Samsung didn't release uh, Exynos 2200 in many regions as Exynos is not in the state of competition. Early leaks were true. I'm sad to say that Exynos 2200 is inferior to Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. Samsung, this is really not good. This year is a dark year for the Exynos. I want to ask Samsung that is this real AMD RDNA2 graphic or just a name?